Hey friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Either way, I am so happy that you are here because today I have some extreme laundry motivation for you all. Today's complete disaster clean with me will have plenty of speed cleaning motivation. I'm just starting off by cleaning my washing machine a little bit. I've just wiped down the top parts with some method all purpose in the grapefruit scent. Then I'm going to be cleaning the washing machine filter and behind the washing machine. I haven't cleaned the washing machine filter in years, so I was expecting a lot more than I found. So when I get to that part, if you know a bit about washing machines, let me know in the comments down below if there's another area that I'm supposed to be checking because I really just expected more than what I found in there with all of the odd pairs of socks that we have in this house. I was half expecting to make a mass discovery of them all behind there, but it really just wasn't the case. So if you are ready to tackle your laundry with me today, go ahead and grab a basket and let's get folding. We keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. Baby, down, 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 down. So I'm just putting on a load of towels and bed sheets here. I recently changed my main washing powder over to the Earth Choice brand as it's more of a natural cleaner than the one that I was using, but I'm not convinced yet that I love it. But the Dynamo Professional Odor Eliminating Blue Laundry Detergent that I used just there is my favorite for towels and bedding, especially when going through the toilet training phase with little ones. And of course, I use this vanish stain remover, especially on the kids' clothes, but the towels and that goes well on as well. While that's washing, I wanted to tackle this complete design disaster of a corner. This room doubles as so many rooms. It's our spare room. It was my partner's office while he had to work from home for a year. And it's also our laundry room where we sort of hang out all the clothes and fold them and things like that. And this corner over here is our youngest daughter's changing area sort of thing. She is still in our room, but eventually this whole room will get a room transformation and become her bedroom finally. So I'm excited for that. But for now, I want to clean, declutter and organize this corner to make it a more functional area. The change table of course will be leaving soon she's 18 months so the toilet training stage will be coming up really soon and we'll be able to get rid of that but for now it is there to stay and at the moment half of her clothes are here and half of them are in her brother's wardrobe so today's goal is to move it all back over here to the one space for her so that it also makes it a lot easier so I can see what I have and don't have for when I do do her room transformation and make this bedroom her bedroom I will know what I need and sort of have a better idea of the space in here and what I'm working with <laughs> To settle down Day nights and late nights Don't get around But there's something about you Something about 
just gone through all of the clothes on the floor here and decluttered what she has grown out of and then put what fits her into a basket ready to be hung or folded but first I'm just going through what's on the clothes rack here already to declutter any clothes that she may have grown out of or just simply won't wear she definitely has made it clear to me that she's not a fan of dresses so I'm really just keeping a couple of the really cute ones hopefully I can get her to wear them one day but I'm really just getting rid of a lot of them that are just like summery dresses because I just know she's not going to wear them Baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. Now I really want to clean, declutter and organize this change table to make it more of a functional area to use. It does need a good wipe down. There's a lot of dust accumulated down here. But originally when I had my first baby, I got this change table super cheap from a friend and it has been through quite a few kids now. It is quite a few years old. So it is a bit damaged down the bottom. You'll see when I wipe out the bottom, the paint has come off quite a lot. And the more that I rubbed, the more the paint came off. So I couldn't really clean the whole thing. So I just went ahead and put a blanket it down there just to make it look nicer for now this thing is not going to last forever but it definitely got its money's worth let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty honey let's just face it you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better so much better
So here is the clothes that I managed to declutter from this area. I am so happy that they are going to be gone and out of this house because they just seem to accumulate so quickly. I did struggle a lot with getting rid of the real baby newborn clothing, but with these ones, it just doesn't seem to be as difficult. But I'm just moving the change table and the clothing rack out for now so I can get behind there and give these floors a good vacuum and just along the trimming there, it got quite bad. So I want to clean that up before going ahead and folding and hanging up the rest of the clothes. So if you are ready for the laundry motivation part of this, I really hope you decide to clean with me and catch up on your laundry too. So for those of you who are new to my cleaning channel and not coming over from my main channel, I just wanted to quickly introduce myself to you. So my name is Katrina Marie and I'm currently a stay at home mom to two toddlers. The days can be long and repetitive. So finding YouTube to do as a hobby on the side has really been so much fun and a little bit life changing for me. I also love that one day I'll be able to make a small income from my cleaning videos for my family. A lot of work really does go in behind the scenes to film and edit these videos and make them possible. So I I really appreciate you watching today and for all of you who take the time to leave a thumbs up comment or subscribe just know that I appreciate you all so so much I do try my best to put out new cleaning motivation videos each week with plenty of speed cleaning deep cleaning laundry motivation extreme cleaning motivation complete disaster messes and real life mess so if you love satisfying cleaning videos go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so that I can keep making them and now let's get back to this laundry motivation I get up, I hope 
cleaning, decluttering and organising this area. It is such a functional space now and it just makes a world of difference. And we got it done just in time to go ahead and hang out that load of washing that we did put in at the start of the video. My son's cushion cover is new and hasn't been washed before. I had a feeling that the red part might run so I put it in with the towels to be safe and lucky I did because now we have a whole collection of pink towels that used to be white. Luckily most of them in this load are just the kids so my daughter will be super happy about this at least but I just wanted to say before the end of this video today that I really appreciate you watching this complete disaster clean with me I hope that you all got some extreme laundry motivation from today's cleaning video I have a whole house clean with me video coming out next week so be sure to subscribe for that one but in the meantime leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite part of a cleaning video is I absolutely appreciate your feedback so much while I'm making these videos so please go ahead and do that I look forward to chatting to you all in the comments down below. I hope you are all having a fantastic week and I will see you all back here again really soon with some brand new cleaning motivation. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Stop for traffic lights 